So if I'm solving this equation, I need to draw this line in the middle to help. I want the x's all together. The last thing you want to do is add across the equal sign. You don't want to combine those like terms. These guys could get combined and these could get combined if they were combinable, which they're not. So I need to get my x's all on one side. So to get this negative 3x over here with the 5x, I'm going to add 3x to both sides. So on the left, I will have 8x, but I'll still have this minus 12 is equal to 6. Now, again, I'm trying to get the 8x alone. How do I get that alone? I subtracted 12, so I do the opposite of that, which is adding 12. And I have 8x is equal to 18. Now, 8 and x, when they're touching, they're multiplying. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So if you type in 18 over 8 as your answer, you're going to get it wrong. Because you need to simplify the fraction. So 18 and 8 are both divisible by 2. So that is 9 over 4. So you're going to type in your answer is 9 fourths. Now, if you didn't know, when you're in your calculator and you have 18 divided by 8, even if you wrote it with the fraction button or this way, um, if you hit the enter button, it simplifies the fraction for you. So we have this button. If you get a decimal, you can hit this button, and it'll change from a decimal to a fraction for you. So the way you're going to answer is in an improper fraction.